Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. So today we are going to do a pencil review for the Musgrave MyPal. Uh, I recently ordered uh, some pencils from Musgrave to uh, replenish my Musgrave supply and among them were some of these my pals and so they come in a dozen and they come in a sealed plastic envelope kind of like just like this all of musgrave pencils actually used to come this way uh, at one time and now they're putting them in really, some of them, in really nice boxes. Uh, I just did, uh, might have been the last episode, a Musgrave test scoring pencil review where the test scoring pencils used to come like this and up in a plastic envelope. Now they come in a really nice box. So they haven't done that with all their pencils, but they've done them with a number of them and uh, so maybe they'll do it in the future with this pencil, I don't know. Um, but this pencil remains fairly inexpensive, so maybe they won't do the expensive packaging. Um, so the MyPal pencil is a pencil designed really for uh, beginning writers. Uh, although we kids of all ages can use these pencils. Uh, this is what I would call an intermediate pencil. So not a jumbo pencil, like my first Ticonderoga as an example. Uh, and But yet it is uh, a, a bit thicker than the standard pencil. This is closer to a Laddie, also a Ticonderoga model. Um, Trirex makes a pencil in sort of this width. Uh, this pencil is round as you can see. It has a larger than standard core. Um, it doesn't say on here. I want to say that this is about a number 2 HB, although it's not graded. Um, in an official way on the pencil itself. But it is a very comfortable um, size. Uh, and it is round, which adds to the comfort because Musgrave pencils, many, most of their hex pencils are quite sharp. And while that doesn't bother me, I know some people don't care for, for that feel. But uh, it's painted, uh, I hope it's coming off so on the video, it is a dark, na it is a navy blue pencil with a white imprint. And really the only thing on there is my pal, Musgrave Pencil Company Incorporated, Shelbyville, Tennessee, the model number 2020. Let me sharpen this and let's write. Okay, sharpened up nicely. Uh, just used my electric pencil sharpener, my Exacto School Pro. Nice point on there. You can see that large core. It is not a cedar wood pencil, but the wood that is used is good, smooth, sharpens cleanly.
So, uh, first impressions. Uh, nice, dark line. Fairly smooth. You can probably hear it on the page, but um, it's a little louder than its smoothness. Uh, then, then it would then it's really smoother than it sounds, but uh, it you can hear it. Uh, it is like I said, a comfortable pencil to hold. Um, I like the little bit of a larger core, and yeah, it's a it's a good writer. Let's get a little more here. And it, I would say, again, there's no grading on the pencil, but it's very number two ish HB. In terms of its tone, in terms of its feel. Not super smudgy, but a little bit. Part of it too is when you have a core that that wide, that thick. It's it is laying down more graphite on the paper than say a standard size. So you you might get a little bit more of an exaggerated smudge. There's no eraser on the pencil, so we're going to go right with some block erasers here. Uh, and see how this pencil does. So that was the Pentel. Here's a pink pearl. Oh, what else? Here's a magic rub. Um, <clears throat> a foam. Alright, uh, varying degrees of success, I would say, in terms of erasing. Overall, uh, the graphite lifts all right. Better with some than others. Gets a B- minus in erasability. Yeah, nice writing pencil, uh, comfortable. You can see I've not sharpened it, uh, so uh, the point is starting to blunt a little bit. I would go a little while longer, I think, before I would 
give it a resharpen here. But um, yeah, overall, I like this pencil. And as I like many uh, intermediate sized pencils, um, and I know my, my friend who has a great uh, channel um, uh, who does pencil reviews, uh, moving and manipulating objects, otherwise known as MAMO, he is a fan of sort of the eraserless intermediate sized pencil. I'm not sure if he's reviewed the My Pal or not, but I think he would probably like this pencil also. So, I thank you for watching this review, and um, go ahead and subscribe and share and like if you're into what I do here on Always Analog, and uh, I hope you're enjoying autumn wherever you may be. Here in Michigan, it's absolutely beautiful right now. And we'll see you again real soon on Always Analog.